Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for my lovely <clears throat> Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. We'll be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and <clears throat> leave what does not fit for your situation. Sorry for the coughing and the hacking, guys. I, I have phlegm in my throat. I don't know where that shit came from. It came out of nowhere. So you just have to bear with me. <laughs> okay. I apologize in advance. So this is your love reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on in your love life. I feel called to do a love reading. So let's see. I feel like I'm talking about love a lot, though, or like relationships a lot anyway. That's what I pull in. But when I do general readings, I, I touch on your money, too, and everything like that. But I feel called to do strictly a love reading today. So let's see what's going on in your love life. Love is the highest vibration of them all anyway. <laughs> so let's see saggy sun moon rising venus and north node cross watchers you are welcome here as well if you're watching for a sagittarius so let's see what's going on for saggy sagittarius spirit and love give me clear messages for sagittarius and love what is sagittarius damn <clears throat> sorry sag so we have embrace Craving your physical touch, hmm. <laughs> denial, who just had this cancer? You could be dealing with uh, <clears throat> cancer, not facing the truth, irrational and reasoning, irrational reasoning, let's see. Blown away, <clears throat> sudden rush of emotions for you. TikTok, yeah, you could definitely be dealing with the cancer. You have cancer in your chart heavy. We have TikTok deadline, time running out. The bottom of the deck is nervous. <clears throat> yeah, somebody hit that they can keep you waiting, Sagittarius. They really did. They really thought that they can keep you waiting or keep you on hold. Or <clears throat> some of you guys can have a beach house or live near the beach or something like that. Okay, possibly. Somebody here really feels like they can still get you back. All right. I'm also getting they're in denial <clears throat> about they're kind of like don't want to go over what they did while y'all split up. So really be mindful of that too. Let's see for Sagittarius. Okay. Why is Embrace here for Sagittarius? <laughs> Why is it this person for some of you this person could be married to somebody else <clears throat> but they really don't care they could already be married to somebody else but they miss your sex or your physical touch here because maybe they're not getting that in this connection that they're in what is embrace <laughs> for saggy <clears throat> somebody here just doesn't want to do the inner work they like they like having all this shit going on yeah, so we have Ace of Cups in reverse. So I'm getting a breakup, a separation. Definitely that. Um, A lot of repressed emotions, repressed feelings that somebody has for you here. Okay, but I'm getting... This person could be going through a breakup or this is you going through some type of breakup. I feel like maybe maybe you don't feel the same about this person anymore. This could also calling off, could be calling off an engagement or proposal. So if this person is married or if this is you, I feel like somebody is breaking up with somebody. They're not going to be married to them or they don't want this shit no more with, with them or, or, or you don't want this shit with them or something. Yeah. Three of swords in reverse. Somebody could have a Libra Saturn. <clears throat> Two of swords. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't a denial. I might have a Libra moon, so a lot of Libra. So I'm getting there's a breakup here, but somebody here just doesn't want to see something. Two of swords. It could either be this person that they're breaking up with. Yeah, it could be a third party here that somebody is walking away from. They're walking away from the person that they married. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Or this is you if you were married or whatever, right? But two of swords is definitely being in denial about the truth or not wanting to speak on it or not wanting to say something about it. But you know, <laughs> with the high priestess right here, you know the truth. You know whatever secret this is. Somebody keeps trying to hide the fact that they're going through a breakup or they're or they for some of you, this is them repressing their emotions, hiding their feelings, hiding whatever trauma or pain they've been going through too from their past <clears throat> relationships. Yeah. So what's this ace of cups in reverse for Saggy? <clears throat> yep, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, Knight of Wands. <sighs> 
So I'm definitely getting a disunion, a breakup, but I'm also getting someone not wanting to take accountability for something that they did. They just don't. They'd rather hold it in or repress their emotions or keep things hidden and hide their feelings from you and not be real and sincere and keep being in and out, in and out. <clears throat> you know? Somebody here too could not be too sure about their sexuality. Somebody's confused about their sexuality. Okay, but yeah i feel like there's a lot of trust issues too with this person i feel like you don't trust them anymore or they have a lot of trust issues that they haven't touched on which is possibly hard for you and this person to be to embrace a connection with each other this is probably what keeps y'all separated because this person they just don't want to do the inner work what's the two of swords nine of swords in reverse somebody could have a gemini um Mars. Yeah. So I'm getting this nine of swords is just giving somebody that's in extreme regret or they feel extremely guilty, but they're hiding it. It's like they don't want to touch on it. They they're at a stalemate because they know that they did they fucked up. They did something wrong here. <clears throat> this could be you too coming out of a time of anxiety or feeling like hurt about the situation and just moving on here. Um Kind of like, you know, you could you could be the one shutting out your feelings or whatever the case may be. You could be not wanting to touch on something, right? But I'm getting, you know, somebody that is <clears throat> stalemate, they're stuck because they're in regret. They know that they did something wrong. So now their actions, they're being haunted by their actions. They are with the nine of swords in reverse. That's hallucinating, being haunted, feeling like extremely bad. What's this three of swords in reverse? Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody's like close to burnout. Seven of wands in reverse. Somebody could have a Leo, um, uh, Mars. So the seven of wands in reverse is definitely like somebody is just like they feel weak. Or <clears throat> this is somebody here that refused to stand up for what they believe in. I feel like this is somebody that lacked to comp that lacked compromise. They didn't want to work with you. Yeah, so now they're in pain. Now they're sitting there in pain. There's a lot of oppressed feelings here. A lot. A lot of like, just a lot because they've been, they're being eaten up here. <clears throat> they're being eaten up because they know that they, they fucked up, for real. <laughs> That's all I can say about this row. <clears throat> this row. Sorry about my voice, y'all. This shit. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. So, what's denial here? Not facing the truth. Yeah, eight of cups that you walked away. <coughs> Somebody <coughs> don't want to face the fact that you walked away from their ass. So we're going to have a Pisces Saturn. So yeah, this is like a time of reflection, solitude, soul searching. I feel like that's you. Though. I feel like that's something that you're doing. Oh, this is what they ass is doing. Hopefully this is them doing it. <laughs> but yeah, with all these moons here, we have three moons right here. This person is deep in their feelings. They are Somebody's like in their emotions heavy. Same shit I got for cancer. For some of you, this is somebody here that, yeah, you walked away from this person. They just don't want to see what they did. They don't want to, they don't want to take any kind of accountability or touch on a subject. All right. So I feel like you're walking away. You could have even moved away from this person with the eight of cups. That's travel. All right. <clears throat> but I feel like there's an energy of you wanting more. You're desiring more. So I feel like you're walking away and you're doing it in the work here because you know that this is not what's for you. Just period. Yeah, ten of wands. <clears throat> a lot of emotional baggage, dead weight. Okay. Somebody could have a Sagittarius, Saturn, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah. You cut off all communication with this person. Somebody here thinks that you're playing about cutting them off. It's like you have, you're not saying anything to this person. Page of Swords in reverse is like not saying nothing. Somebody thinks that you're being sarcastic or you're not being serious. It's like, no, you're really done with somebody. <laughs> like this person don't think that though i don't feel like they do yeah queen of swords you're not you're cutting somebody to fuck off just period somebody thinks that it's a joke and they don't want to face the truth about you walking away oh honey you're doing just that <clears throat> some of y'all could definitely be moving packing up leaving a home or whatever but you're getting rid of this dead weight though somebody here could be a lot of responsibility or it's just a lot to have to carry around <clears throat> emotionally when it comes down to this person they just put a lot on you yeah, the page of swords in reverse, it's just like, I just feel like this is you not communicating with somebody, but definitely 
somebody here that um has played a lot of mind games with you. They've been very manipulative. What's this page of swords in reverse? What is this? Five of swords in reverse. Somebody can have an Aquarius, Venus, yeah, and the devil. Wow. For some of you, there is somebody here. I don't know if this is a third party. For some of you, it is, right? I'm getting that a lot. There's a third party here that's really, really revengeful. This person is really revengeful. Somebody is like... <clears throat> This could be somebody you're walking away from that is extremely revengeful towards you. Or this is somebody that this person is dealing with. Capricorn energy, but I'm just getting with the five of swords in reverse. I can also see this as somebody that's obsessed with you. This person is quite obsessed and they're in toxic energy. It could be codependence. It could be anything. But the five of swords in reverse, I feel like somebody feels defeated as well. They feel defeated. Or they thought they could keep some kind of connection going, this toxic shit or whatever these mind games are <clears throat> or whatever. I feel like you overcame something. You fought back. Yeah, this is... What's this Five of Swords in reverse? Let's see. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like now somebody wants to give to you equally. They want to partner with you. Somebody can have a Taurus moon. <clears throat> you could have been very nice to this person or very giving, very generous, kind, helpful. All right. And I feel like this person here, yeah, for some of you guys, you were giving money to somebody. I feel like you stood up for yourself or you stopped speaking to this person. You cut them off completely for some of you. Yeah, the cherry. There's that cancer energy and you've moved on. All right. And this person don't want to accept the fact that you are done. <clears throat> you are really freaking done person could need some money they can need some help here or support in some way <clears throat> yeah this is you surrendering here this could also be for some of you this is your person right they got caught up with an evil ass person that they've been giving to and <clears throat> it's like now they're trying to go towards peace they don't want any conflict and they know that i feel like this person knows that they need to go in like no contact with somebody or this is you. You need to go no contact with somebody because they're a narcissist. <clears throat> and they're a beggar. They always need something. They always got their hand out for something like, for something involving you. Somebody here didn't listen to the warning signs at first and got themselves caught up into some shit. What's this devil? <clears throat> Someone, <clears throat> excuse me, Sagittarius. Somebody could also be sending you the evil eye. All right, let me drink some of my juice. I probably don't even need to be. I'm <coughs> drinking this shit, but I want a juice. <laughs> so anyway, what's the devil? <clears throat> yeah, somebody's a liar. A liar. Very argumentative, manipulative. <clears throat> the hangman in reverse. They refuse to see something differently. Okay, they refuse to stop doing whatever this is that's negative, a negative pattern that's just like <clears throat> on repeat. And I feel like now you're losing interest because somebody here is lying about some type of toxic ass energy from their past or something that they got <clears throat> going on with them that's toxic. Child by what's what's um this person could be coming towards you with their problems, their baggage, this this weight. <clears throat> That they continuously lie to you about. It's like they keep lying about something that they're going through. But they want to make peace with you. Or they want to fix something with you. But I feel like it's because they're going through all this shit. I feel like they've been going through it. But now they're really hitting rock bottom for real. What's the Ten of Wands? <clears throat> yeah, Knight of Wands. Setting yourself free. So this could be you taking a risk here that's, that's going to lead to a success. For some of you, if you're leaving an abusive connection or relationship or this person could be going to jail if they keep doing this shit too. Whatever they're doing. Knight of Wands is you escaping something. <clears throat> Definitely somebody could have something because they keep sleeping around. Like they keep having sex with other people. This person could have a disease here for some of you. They could have something that is going to be hard to get rid of. <clears throat> 
but I'm getting somebody is finally getting ready to take a risk and move away from someone. But this energy is flighty. Knight of Wands, it's like they always do this. They always leave this energy. They always leave this and come back. They carry their burdens or this baggage around and just like still go backwards at some point. They stop talking to this person. It seems like this is a cycle that somebody goes through a lot though. The devil is still upright, so that means it's still around somewhere, either within this person, within you, or with this third party. <clears throat> hmm. What's this blown away? Sudden rush of emotions for you? <laughs> the four cups, yeah. It's it's because they, they're getting rejected now. Somebody here likes to play this game. There's a lot of mind games and shit going on here. Somebody can have a cancer moon. <laughs> yeah, two of pentacles. You got you guys could be saying two two two. <clears throat> Somebody can have a Capricorn, Jupiter, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person here, they um are very indecisive, very back and forth. With this sudden rush of emotions, I feel like somebody here knows how to play that game. They have these sudden rush of emotions for you, but after they get what they want, they they leave you behind or they ghost you or something like that. They see that you're very stable, you're very financially secure. All right, it's like when somebody here puts their ass out or they they <laughs> when somebody puts them out or stop fucking with them, they get put out, they go somewhere else, or they come towards you and they get help from you or some type of healing from you. You could be a healer with this Queen of Pentacles. They get something from you and then they go back to the other person once they let them cool down or something like that. It's like somebody here juggles. They juggle a lot. <clears throat> so when they don't get what they want from somewhere else, they come towards you to get it. Wow. That's why it's like a sudden rush of emotions because it's like they know how to turn that shit on and off. <laughs> okay. Child, please. What's this four of cups? I feel like you're you're completely rejecting this person. What's this four of cups? Or you need to, because this is some stupid ass shit right here. Yeah, the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. Pisces energy with the high priestess. Oh, wow. Then we have the hierophant. The two of cups in reverse. <coughs> so let's see. Yeah. So listen to your intuition. This person here is hiding a lot. Definitely somebody is being, they're discontented, they're unsatisfied in their life. This person is just going to ignore you again or reject your ass. Because they're too stuck on the past still. It's like they're still looking back at the past or something. <laughs> or this is how they're going to leave you if they come in and you accept their offer again and again and again. <sighs> we'll see. And you're very fertile at this time with the high priestess. So I feel like you just need to be careful. There needs to be no sex with this person because they definitely gonna try to trap your ass. It's like every little time you can get away from them, you get stronger and stronger. And this person, they like they like they like a challenge. This person likes to chase. <clears throat> they like for you to chase them, but I, I don't know. What's this two of pentacles? They, they definitely like for you to chase their ass. What's this two of pentacles? Yeah, they like to keep your emotions in a, in a frenzy. They like for your shit to be up and down, up and down. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse, though, is somebody here receiving bad news as far as their finances. This is definitely a cheater. Whoever this is, they're going to cheat on your ass. <clears throat> they don't give a fuck. They have problems in this relationship. They leave that shit and they come right to you. But definitely somebody's receiving bad news in their earthly matters. Their finances are fucked up. This could be this person here is procrastinating. Yeah. There could be some dark magic going on, too, <clears throat> as well. You can know that whoever they're with is doing magic on them <clears throat> or they're doing it on you. With the Magician in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, that's that's magic or something like that. What's this, um, <clears throat> what's this Page of Pentacles in reverse right here? Somebody is playing with the wrong one. If you're a high priestess... Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I'm getting, this is procrastination too, though. I'm getting procrastination. Somebody's procrastinating or working on something with you, building with you, committing to you. All right, they, they could already be working on something else with somebody else or committed. But I feel like whoever this is, is very money focused. They don't, they don't want shit else from you, really. <clears throat> this person is a loser. They like to keep you mentally trapped or they like to keep you confused but this is very much so a trickster this person is very manipulative and they're greedy as fuck with the magician in reverse they're abusing their abilities their psychic abilities are being abused 
Somebody's definitely doing work though with the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It could be like magic or something is what I'm getting to, to cause you to be scatterbrained. <clears throat> There's like something, this person is hiding something that's dark about their ass. This is like focus here. Focus, eight of pentacles. Definitely commitment building. Yeah, somebody sees that you took your focus off of them. So it's like now they're trying to get you to come back. What's the queen of pentacles? <clears throat> Six of wands in reverse. Somebody can have a Leo Jupiter. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like other people here. Seven of Swords. This is some type of plan or strategy or something like that to do something to you or get something from you. <clears throat> Six of Wands in reverse is treachery. That's treacherous energy. It could be a mob of people doing this or definitely somebody here has, has failed doing something though. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, that's you with the world. Yeah, some of y'all could be even more renowned. You get a lot of attention. You're very successful. Okay, you're very confident as well. But <clears throat> let's see. What's these Six of Wands in reverse? This this could be this third party doing this magic on you and this person. But what's the Six of Wands in reverse? <clears throat> Something is going to fail drastically or did fail because you're still stable. You're still secure. You're still working. <clears throat> Just period. What's six? They could be trying to slow down something that you're working on. Whoever this is, it could be an ex. A, uh, I don't know, but <clears throat> yeah, the fool it could be an Aquarius. The ten of swords. Yeah, I, you know, five of wands. Yeah, there's somebody that's in competition with you. It's, it's over somebody to hear that you're dating or that's interested in you. And this person keeps lying to you about this past person or what the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, it's it's like something here failed between you and this person. There was a betrayal here. It could be a Gemini. <clears throat> Maybe a Gemini woman did something to you or, or this person. But I'm getting something here is over. Something failed between you and this person. And I feel like you have your guards up. You're being very serious with this person. You're asking them all kind of questions. It's like you're curious about what the fuck is going on here. But I feel like you're just being very serious. You're going to cut this person off because you don't have time to deal with this person and their fuck shit. Whatever this is right here. But there is definitely a betrayal, abrupt ending between you and somebody. <clears throat> What's this Queen of Swords? Somebody could have a parrot. Like to have a pair. I think pairs are so freaking cute, <laughs> especially when they copy you or mimic you and learn how to talk. Yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce, all right, but somebody they're having a rocky relationship with or just a breakup, okay, or this is you. Somebody could have a Pisces, Mars, yeah, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Cups in Reverse is definitely <clears throat> um, somebody here that's just not happy. They don't feel whole within themselves. I feel like you know that. I feel like you're questioning somebody about their um, the, a relationship they have with somebody. Or, or I feel like this person always tells you what is complicated or they just don't tell you shit at all or they lie. They just tell you. I feel like you're very discerning. You know that somebody has something going on here, you know, <clears throat> but they won't tell you the truth. What's this Queen of Swords with this Ten of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Hangman. This could be somebody you have kids with, Sagittarius, and you're you're setting boundaries with this person because this person could have tried to get a smear campaign or something like that to go against you or trick you or hurt you, especially within your finances or your stability, your home. You could be a mother. You could have kids with this person. But <clears throat> Pisces energy with the Hangman in reverse, yeah. Some type of illusion or something has been put upon you or placed upon this person or something like that. The hangman in reverse talks about a negative pattern on repeat, a negative cycle. And I feel like you keep asking this person like, hey, you still with your baby mama? Or hey, you still with your baby daddy? Or you still married? Or are you married? Or whatever. And they keep lying about it. You know the truth, though. <clears throat> with the queen of swords upright. And I feel like you're very much so disinterested. You're withdrawing your energy with the hangman in reverse. Because this person keeps failing to kind of like <clears throat> tell you the truth. 
And maybe it's not that. Maybe they are telling you the truth about that. I feel like they have a secret. It could be a dark secret that this person is not telling you that they're, they're, they're into something dark. But they're not really telling you that or something like that because they've been using it. And it's been working for a majority of their life, but it's not working on you. Okay, is what I'm getting to. <clears throat> child yeah this is what's tiktok deadline time running out i feel like this person really don't even care about time running out i feel like they care more so about winning you over and then making you feel bad that's what i'm getting like somebody here is just a loser five of pentacles in reverse somebody can have a taurus mercury the judgment yeah and the two of cups in reverse yeah you're done you made a decision already that you're done but somebody i feel like you've forgiven this person and you're moving on Definitely somebody here could want a second chance with you with the judgment upright. Somebody wants you to forgive them. I feel like you did, whether they want you to or not. I feel like you did for your own growth. I'm just period. But five of pentacles in reverse is you overcoming this obstacle. You're over this person or you're going to be. Somebody could have a, a cancer Venus. Could be a Scorpio. Aries Leo or another Sagittarius. But yeah. You're not you're not going to keep continuing to be left out in the cold. It's like you've given this person ample amount of time to tell you the truth, say what they need to say, and move forward. And maybe y'all could have made could have been good friends or something like that. But this person keeps lying. What's the judgment? So this is an awakening happening for you. Um, a karmic lesson that I feel like you've learned. What's the judgment? Yeah, the moon. You know that somebody's still lying. That's why Pisces energy. You know there's still a lot of deception. Yes, yeah, so you're healing from it. Scorpio Mars, somebody could have here. Yeah, you're not going to keep being used and abused and all that. You're over it. Yeah, you could be investing somewhere else, putting your time, energy, and effort into somebody that's worth your time and patience. It's not this person, for sure. Yeah. You could have been scared to move away from this because maybe you weren't sure. Maybe it's like, okay, well, maybe... If I wait a little bit longer, this person will get it together, but they're not. They're just a loser. I feel like they do this shit to a lot of fucking people <clears throat> as well. What's the two of cups in reverse? Seven of pentacles. Somebody can have a Taurus Saturn and the king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's already invested in a relationship where they just cheat, cheat, cheat on this person. Whoever they say that they're with, they cheat on them. The third party cheats on them too. And they always run back to you. It's the same shit. Somebody's well invested into somebody seven years or seven plus years for some of you. This could be in a very, very rocky relationship where they just do not see eye to eye. But somebody thought that you was going to wait on their ass. You were waiting with the seven of pentacles. That's you. You were waiting for this person. They could be having money issues, money problems. Yeah, I feel like you're over it. <laughs> you are not waiting on this person no more. This, but this person is very greedy. They're selfish. They're very superficial. And they're about them. They're just dishonest. <clears throat> they're a cheater. For sure that. Oh, child. And that's why they are showing up as a knight of wands. Because they're very in and out. Mm. So we have attachment. Yeah, get to know your attachment patterns so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging. <laughs> this person has attachment issues or this is you. So we have lessons. You have agreed with the other soul to have and provide valuable life lessons for each other in this lifetime. Find the lessons within this connection. I feel like you have or you should. Yeah, mirroring. Yeah, your twin flame or your person is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins or your person to run away from the relationship. I say or your person because not everybody has twins here. But <clears throat> yeah, this person mirrors your... This is just a catalyst. Yeah, unawakened. Yeah, and part of the plan. Wow. Yeah, so whatever this is, this could be a catalyst twin. Definitely go look up catalyst twin for some of you. This person was a catalyst for your growth. So you can find the person that you are meant to be with your actual twin. For some of you, you have met your actual person. Because this person here, they felt like a twin, but they're not. This person is, they could have done spell work on you to make it seem like they were, to keep this connection going. This person is dark. <laughs> and they're with somebody that's dark too. They can do this with this other person that they're with. This third party, I don't goddamn know. But uh, what else? 
for Saggy. Yeah, <laughs> married. <laughs> Dating someone who's married may entail many restrictions and even more difficult can be living with the bitter truth that you are sharing them. Yeah, and they're in denial about it. They just don't want to tell you the truth. They're a liar. This person is a liar. Passing soulmates. Some soulmates don't last forever. However, they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. Yeah, that shit is child by. <clears throat> what else? So we have friendship. This romantic union will be grounded in friendship. A very playful connection meant to teach you to be to have a more carefree attitude okay false hope a false twin flame yeah i told you somebody's a false twin flame or a catalyst twin one or the other all right will lead you on and tell you that they feel the same way about you only for you to discover later on this isn't the case wow yeah you're discovering that you had a false person <coughs> you could be building a friendship with somebody new here sagittarius that's going to lead into more or this is what you thought with this person yeah, we have jealousy. Jealousy is a major sign of bad, of a bad relationship. Small doses is okay, but when it's ruling your connection, it may be a sign to let them go. But somebody here was jealous the whole time, or they're with somebody that's jealous, or whatever. But this person definitely wore a mask, bro. This is crazy. So we have unexpected events. Expect the unexpected. Something you don't see coming as soon to change your life. A door that was closed is now open. We have blocked. Your connection is blocked either by a third party or some outside influences. Shift your focus on yourself and release them for now. Yeah. Then we have unawakened. Your twin or your person is not ready to accept this connection and rejecting this love because of the parameters of the conventional world. Okay. Yeah. So something unexpected is coming your way though. Let's clarify and see what it may be. Yeah. Your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as this change can throw you off your center. Let's see. What's the unexpected spirit? Can you give me some clarity about that? What could be, what could the uh, Sagittarius be expecting? Regret. Yeah. <laughs> they ask. Living in the past with regrets can take a toll on your mental health. Start making positive choices to live a happy and empowered life. What is unexpected with the regret card? Intensity. <clears throat> The intensity of the connection is very strong, deep, and intense. It's so overwhelming, you may run from it. And then we have perfectly imperfect. Bottom of the deck is in sync. What's poking out right here is romantic offer. So for some of you, yeah, then we have hidden blessings or detour. So for some of you, definitely, this was a, a catalyst for your growth here. This person, you're going to, I feel like what's unexpected is, um, you could kind of like be going over the past a bit, just thinking about what could have been or what should have been or whatever. Um, but I feel like you're going to be, you know, start making positive choices, um, Sagittarius, and you're going to run into somebody. I feel like it's your twin, your actual twin for some of you. Yeah. And you could be running away from that person, your new person or something like that, because you're still caught up on this past person thinking that they're your twin. They're not. They're false. They're a catalyst for you to move the fuck on and go be with somebody else. All right. It says perfectly imperfect. The love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws. And accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them. <clears throat> and sync. You just get each other. Perhaps you finish e each other's sentences or know what they are thinking. This connection feels effortless. Yeah, so some of y'all could be definitely going into a new connection here. Yeah, small challenges. No relationship is perfect. And when things go awry, and they will, don't be so quick to think your relationship is over. You are learning and growing. Yeah, your rejection and your the rejection that you dealt with from this past person could be coming up. It could be affecting your new relationship. So be careful of repeating a cycle. Yeah, awakening. Yep, yeah. pragma love. Yeah, so after you awaken, you're going to find this pragma love, which is an enduring love. A love that has matured and developed, made to survive all the changes and adversities rising above the challenges. Yeah. So you're you're going to be done with this person. I feel like you're going to get over this past person, this false twin. You need to. So that way you can go find your person because this past this past person, they feel like a strong twin flame connection. It feels this reading is very um <clears throat> is very relatable for my situation because I had a catalyst twin or a false person before I actually met my real twin. Okay. So yeah, that could definitely be the case for you guys. So definitely pay attention. All right, be sure not to <clears throat> mistake or, you know, 
somebody for being your person when they're not. Because real twins don't do that shit. Yeah, maturity. Who just had that cancer? Definitely go watch cancer. So I feel like you're maturing. This I said maturity. <laughs> maturing. This is all about um emotional maturity. So you're going into a connection here where you're going to be more emotionally mature. Or you're manifesting. Yeah, you're manifesting a love that's more emotionally mature. Somebody that's more emotionally available to you. And I feel like it's coming in. Okay, maybe you could do, uh, you know, write out your um manifestations. Yeah, because your spirit God is looking right at what you're writing. So write out what you're what you're trying to manifest and send it, you know, into the ethers, and they're gonna give you what you want. You know, <laughs> excuse me, but maturity is definitely you're very emotionally mature. So you want somebody that's gonna give you the love that you deserve. I feel like it's coming in here. You've learned a lot. Well, excuse me, with all these books and shit back here, <clears throat> for sure. You've learned your lesson and spirit is very pleased. Like he's smiling back here. This angel is like, yeah, you've learned a lot. So definitely something nice is coming in for you. 11, 11 on the clock. Beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to end it there, Sagittarius. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys um, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.